Donald Trump has rather long suggested that the presidential election could be rigged against him and now is even encouraging his supporters to in fact challenge voters at the polls. Contributing editor of The Atlantic, Alex Wagner, has a new, a new article with the headline, Scare the Vote. She looked into the potential damage that Trump's claims could have on our democracy in the long term. Alex Wagner here with me now. Uh, Many subjects, I suppose, could fill this particular place <laughs> yeah. in the discussion. Yes. But with regard then to the suggestion of voter fraud, um, interestingly, only 39% of likely voters are, in fact, highly confident in the accuracy of our election process. Right. Is that is that a byproduct? Of sure. The cycle. Is yeah. It, is it as everything else sort of goes to pot? Of course, legitimacy will go with it. Well, I think so. There are a couple externalities that contribute to it. Certainly, Russian hacks at the DNC do not give Americans, I think, a great sense of confidence that, in terms of the, the sort of cyber element of our elections, mm -hmm. that they could be foolproof. Then you have this narrative that's been emerging, largely driven by conservatives for the last couple of years, that the, the process of voting is actually fraudulent, and there are no statistics to back that up. It's approximately one in every. 15 million votes that may have been cast fraudulently. Statistically, it hovers about 0%. Yeah, that's, about, right? that's less than 1%. Nonetheless, a lot of states have enacted these sort of voter ID laws mm -hmm. that are meant to cut back on so-called fraud. Mm -hmm. And then you have rhetoric that we've seen a lot more of on this campaign than on any other American campaign, which is one of the leading nominees for, for president, Donald Trump, has been saying repeatedly, and his running mate has been saying, that the election may be rigged. He is encouraging private citizens to go out and watch the polls. He is soliciting online registration so that they can go out and watch the polls. And as it, turn out, it turns out, Josh, that in 39 states in the U.S., private citizens can challenge the eligibility of their fellow voters. In 24 of those states, they don't have to have any proof to challenge the eligibility. The, Donald Trump's id has been at front and center in a lot of these sorts of discussions. And so I, I wonder, as he blows that whistle of, of a rigged election, is it your sense, based on what you've seen, that it's something that Donald Trump truly believes, or it's the mechanism by which Donald Trump responds to bad news, or in this case, uh, depressing poll numbers? Well, I think there is a tendency, and we've seen it with his relationship with the Republican establishment, when he feels like he's backed into a corner, he lashes out at his unseen, the perpetrators of this unseen misery. Yeah. On Monday, that was Paul Ryan. Uh, he is predicting, perhaps, to the American public and to his supporters that he may not do as well at the polls as he would like to, and he is therefore preemptively, I think, lashing out at the unseen sort of force behind that, which is the voting process itself. The the problem is that's a very dangerous precedent to set, right? If we look at the long-term and medium-term effect on the American democracy, that could disenfranchise and disillusion a sizable portion of the Republican Party. That is problematic when you have a two-party system and a representative democracy. Well, and when you see, uh, you know, his campaign manager yesterday having to entertain questions about st strategy meant simply to depress Democratic turnout. Right. That, I mean, look, we're not breaking news here that this thing is at times is felt as though it's a race to the bottom. Yeah. But I guess now we are really talking about, you know, how much cleanup there's going to be after this party comes to an end. And I think there are people inside the Republican Party that recognize this. Yeah. Politico has a story this morning about elected and former Republican officials who are saying enough with this talk of the rigged election. It is very important that the American public accept the results of November 8th, whoever wins. I mean, that at least, you know, you have a movement growing inside the party that says this is toxic. This kind of rhetoric could have an incredibly deleterious, cancerous effect on our system of governance on whole. It's interesting too, as uh, Nancy Cordes pointed out, she was on the plane yesterday, John Podesta uh, comes back to walk through uh, as best as he felt he could explain the latest WikiLeaks dump. He pointed out why he believes that the Trump campaign has had been tipped essentially by Russian intelligence that this is coming. Points to the Roger Stone tweet yeah. some time ago. Points to the fact that Donald Trump refuses to officially acknowledge that Russian intelligence has been behind the hacking of the DNC. Uh, essentially actually points uh, it, it, in a roundabout way that it seems like his policy positions more accurately reflect uh, a pro-Russian stance than perhaps a, 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 a pro-American stance. What do you, the suggestion is, is uh, and 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 what would otherwise the WikiLeaks dump be something of an October surprise and a yeah, bad week sure. for the Democrats? Sure. 
being used in this way by the Trump campaign, I mean, I guess this just contributes. Well, I think it's, you know, it's, it's a weird position because in many ways, the, the, the sort of actor that has been most questionable in all of this are, are the Russians. And yet Trump consistently in his way defends Putin and has refused to recognize what the administration is now openly saying was a Russian hack of the Democratic National Committee. The, the person to, to seem seemingly benefit from the weakening of Hillary Clinton, the exposure of her staff emails, is Donald Trump. And yet Donald Trump is the one saying that the election has been rigged in favor of Hillary Clinton. So it's sort of two sides talking past each other. Now, I will say on the left, when you have the accusations of fraud and tampering by the Russians, there is some proof that they can point to. Mm -hmm. When Trump insists that this election may be rigged and crooked in some way, there's not a lot of evidence that he's pointing to. A lack of empirical evidence yes. in this election cycle. I can't imagine. Wait, where, what Are rock you? have you been sleeping Wait, under, Alex? Exactly, a wow. big, giant, heavy wow. rock. It blocks wow. the sun. Welcome to the party, such as it is. <laughs> it's good to be here, John. Alex Wagner of the Atlantic, as always.